Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the currency concerned that every Twittering waves. And this concern has only been increased today because Kuro Games leaked their live stream panel by themselves by accident or something like that. I do not know. But the point is, as you can see here on the screen, these are the things you're gonna get on the live stream, like things that we already know of and some things we didn't know. The first thing I would like to point out, yes, the beginner banners selector thing is pretty much real as you can see it on the screen i'm not 100 certain if it's a separate banner but let's get back to the point the concern that i have with the currency system in watering waves is the following basically if you do not know in watering waves we have three type of currency for pools we have lustrous tides which is basically a standard banner pool you can use it on any kind of standard banner either character standard banner or weapon standard banner but here is where the difference comes into play we have character event convene banner which only uses radiant tight event character currency and weapon banner which is called weapon event convene which only uses forging tight currency and my original concern was with that by having a split currency they can effectively take agency away from you as a player where you can use your pools so for example let's say you get 80 pools per patch but in reality most of those pools are let's say for example rain Radiant Tides, you can only use them on character event banner, meaning that if you wanted to, let's say, save a PT to get the weapon banner, you would literally not have enough pulls to get it within a patch. And this was only like a concern of mine when I saw this system, but thanks to this leak, as you can see here once again on the picture, the rewards from the special broadcast program are not gems, but direct pull currency. So you're gonna get 10 standard pulls, which is fine. You can use the standard pulls on any kind of standard banner, but between weapon or character but here is where the issue lies radiant tide radiant tide is the character event pool so basically kuro games is gonna give you event pools from their live stream codes or rewards or whatever and not gems and this is a precedent where it basically tells us they might also do this type of stuff for in-game events so imagine you're doing an in-game event in woodering waves and instead of getting gems you're getting radiant tides which can only be used for character event pulls so let's say you wanted to get the weapon but within the patch you simply don't get enough gems because they gave you primarily let's say more radiant tides within the patch so you would not be able to reach that one pity to get the weapon banner yes weapon banner at face value looks very much better than let's say star rail because it only has one pity weapon is guaranteed but if kuro games does control the flow per patch of what kind of pulls do you get they could basically limit it so for example you get 80 90 pulls per patch and only a certain amount of those pulls can be technically used on the weapon banner so a weapon banner that lasts three weeks and usually a patch which lasts six weeks gives you primarily a lot of gems within first three weeks and imagine like for example in star rail those first three weeks you would get like about 50 60 pulls like that that you could use whatever you want between character or event banner but in this game they could basically limit it that would be primarily from character event banners and then within those first three weeks you would simply not get those 50 whatever pulls and you wouldn't even not even be able to reach let's say soft pity for the weapon banner and get it in time more likely to make you induce into spending money so you would get that weapon on time and this is a very corporate type of practice of course and specifically because of that picture which shows that they're basically giving us as a live stream code not gems but direct pulls of a specific type of banner this concern of mine is even more increased than ever before and of course there's another concern as well that if the game is balanced around the weapons let's say having your characters needing signature weapons it's only gonna be worse if they decide to do a system like this that it takes you longer to reach one pt at least let's say 60 70 pulls to get that weapon because the likelihood right now of accumulating those 60 70 pulls that you need to get the weapon within those first three weeks of a banner especially post launch later down the line where you're not gonna have so many initial pulls it's only gonna be potentially harder and more difficult i hope with this video i spread more awareness about this currency issue and i hope that kuro games would change that the event pools would be universal for every single type of event banner and not separated but i do understand from a corporate perspective to make more money they kind of probably had to do this because the weapon banner does not have a 50 50 it's a guaranteed and this was one way how to go about it to maximize the weapon banner sales simply by making people not get enough pulls with 
in a patch within those three weeks to get PT for the weapon and more likely be like you have to spend or you have to simply save up for longer periods of amount of time to be able to get that weapon guaranteed. Nevertheless, um, it is what it is. I hope they're not going this route and that we're gonna go primarily gems, but as of right now from that live stream reward, that might not be the case. But nevertheless, I hope we will get primarily gem currency through the patch so we can actually have the agency to choose on which banner to pull. But if that's not the case and they would limit effectively how many pulls you have per patch for the weapon, then you'll just have to save more ahead of time as a free to play to be able to get the weapon banner just much what you had to do in Genshin or Star Rail because it could easily end up being that basically the second banner within a patch you might not even reach enough pulls within the same patch to get that weapon soft PT or PT or anything like that and if that's the case we'll just have to save a bit longer but nevertheless I do not like this practice and as a consumer I would prefer to have more agency where to choose to pull especially when other competitors for example Hoyo games they have only one event currency and I can effectively choose where to use this event pulls between weapon banner or character splitting it apart uh, basically takes your agency away but anyways uh, I will be playing this game day one I'm very hyped for it uh, I think it's gonna be very nice um, to have more competition in this anime gacha type of games uh, because having a monopoly like with Hoyo it's never good for consumers competition is always good so yeah that's it uh, and of course if you enjoyed this type of video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this but i'm also making guides and stuff like that not just these type of videos yeah so take care and see you in the next video